Greetings, YouTubians, and welcome back to Wayne Sharp World, where today we have another, guys, another fantastic budget offering from CJRB. And I feel like I've said that a lot lately, and I have. I, I think there's been two or three recent CJRB videos that have just been, like, amazingly good. And like I've said before, I'll say it again, they are ending 2023 on a massively strong note. And if this is just propelling them into more in 2024, look out budget knife manufacturers because uh, they're doing some really good things over there at CGRB. And what we're talking about today is the Space Cowboy, a Ferrum Forge design. And if you haven't handled it yet, I think it's definitely worth checking out for a lot of people because this is... Very much a Ferrum Forge design, and it is very good in many, many ways, and we will go over all that, but first, let's take a look at some overall specs on this knife right here. We have an overall length coming in at 7.05 inches, a blade length right at 3 inches, and a blade thickness of 110 thousandths. Blade material on this guy is, as you would probably expect, AR RPM 9, uh, kind of like the budget steel for artisan cutlery, um, slash CJRB. And we have a drop point style blade with a flat grind, a handle length coming in at 4.05 inches, and a handle thickness at 438 thousandths. Handle material on this guy is G10, and there's two options of color for G10. We're looking at kind of like this bluish gray today, and then there's also a black G10 option. Uh, as you can see, this is a button lock locking mechanism, and a user of a right hand only tip up carry a weight coming in at 3.42 ounces, as I mentioned before, designed uh, by Ferrum Forge, and a price coming in $49.99. I can definitely get behind this knife for $50. Bucks. Um, I can't just get behind it. I can, uh, I can get way behind it because that is a great price for this knife, um, especially with that Ferrum Forge design behind it. A lot of good things going on here, and let's take a look at some size comparisons and see how it stacks up with a couple other very well-known CJRB budget offerings. Here we have the Echo, as well as the uh, Notorious Pyrite Warncliffe Edition. I feel like that's kind of like what, uh, that's like the flagship model for, for CJRB at this point. And uh, as you can see, it's not much shorter than either one of these two, but I'm going to bring out another couple knives that I think are even better comparisons, especially if you're Ferrum Forge fans. Uh, because this here is the Stinger, which in my opinion is still the best Ferrum Forge design. I am absolutely in love with this knife. It's been around for at least a few years now, um, but it is just phenomenal. And then we also have this little guy here. The Civivi Odium, and I'm still waiting for the large Odium Civivi. This is also a Ferrum Forge design. Uh, and as you can see, this I think will give you a better idea just in terms of really where it's at. It's a little shorter than the Stinger, and of course it's bigger than the Odium. But what you see with these two knives with the Space Cowboy in the middle, which again, Space Cowboy, that, that's a pretty good name. I, I like that. Good choice on the name because... It, I don't, okay, we won't ramble about names. Let's just get back to this. As you can see, you definitely see that the Ferrum Forge design language. It's it's very, very noticeable between these three knives um, that they are all indeed Ferrum Forge designs. And what you get with a Ferrum Forge design is usually a really good looking blade. You get a finger choil with just about every one. I mean, and good finger choils too. I mean, all of these knives fit just great in the hand. Uh, the Odium carries so discreetly and so nice and so good. But this Space Cowboy uh, is really, really nice. Um, now, I will say about this choil here, if you have thick fingers, you may have an issue with this choil only because of the way the flipper tab kind of rounds back. That could become annoying if you have like really thick fingers. Um, I believe I have, so my wedding ring here uh, is a size 10. So if that gives you any idea of kind of like how thick my fingers are, I guess, in terms of comparing it to a sharpening choil, um, that could give you an idea. So if you're, if you're less than a, a 10 or less in a wedding ring size, then uh, you should probably be fine. If you're any bigger than that, then it, it may not be the most comfortable finger choil for you. But for me, it feels really, really good. 
And it is, it's, it's a great three inch size. And the blade in general is very, very nice. I'm setting those other knives to the side here. Uh, we are looking at 19 thousandths behind the edge. And as you can see with uh, the end of the grind all the way up here, uh, a, just about a full flat grind. So you have a nice slicey tip. Look at that tip up there. Um, also a good tip for piercing and a really slicey thin edge. So that's very nice. Uh, the sharpening choil or the... The finger choil, as I said, I think will be good for a lot of people. Um, maybe not everybody, but I do personally like it. It's just, just big enough for me. Any tighter, and I probably would have had an issue with it. Uh, back here, you've got a lot of jimping, and it looks nice, but I wouldn't really call it that functional. Um, it's, it, it's just not very grippy or tacky. Uh, not a bad thing, but it's just, you know, I kind of look at jimping as either aesthetic, which aesthetic isn't a bad thing, but more than anything, I want it to be, you know, a little more functional, provide a little more grip. I really don't get much grip from it, but it still looks kind of nice. So kind of is what it is. Um, but that's basically it for the blade. It stays nice and thin all the way behind the sharpened edge. So should be a pretty nice knife to sharpen. And uh, yeah, just a really good looking blade shape. It's almost like it's almost like a modified sheep's foot, really. But I, I guess it would probably definitely be considered a drop point. But if that if that tip came down anymore, you'd basically have a sheep's foot. Um, going into the handle, it's it's a nice handle. It's really nothing special, but I will say it even feels pretty good in my hand, even if you're not using the choil. Um, just just enough for a four finger grip there on the handle. Um, and I may be a little crunched there, so I think for anyone with bigger hands than this, it's probably not going to be a four-finger grip for you. Probably a, you know, three-and-a-half finger. And that's if you're not, you know, choking up, of course. I think 99% of the time I use this knife, I'm going to be using the choil anyway. So um, not really anything to make a big deal about. Um, and this does really feel excellent in this position here because you have that kind of curvature there for your middle finger. And then your other two fingers obviously wrap down at the bottom. And it just feels very, very... Uh, well fitting, I guess. Well fitting. Um, clip back here. Uh, nothing super crazy. I wish it was recessed, especially if it's only going to be right hand only. Like for right hand only, I would rather see that clip recessed. Uh, but it still works. There is enough room there to go all the way into your pocket. So it is a true deep carry knife. I mean, you're going to see pretty much nothing in your pocket. So uh, very nice for being discreet if you don't want to be uh, too loud and proud about carrying a knife or not don't want a lot of people to notice it uh, not a bad thing at all so and the clip itself while it looks like it is very high up and kind of away from the knife in terms of ergos if you use the choil you really almost don't feel the clip at all because the clip really sits behind your hand here so it really is very comfortable in the hand um, yeah, I would say as long as you don't have too thick of fingers, you would really, really like the ergos on this knife, which is always a good thing. And usually that is kind of what comes with a Ferrum Forge design is, is good ergos. Like, I don't think I've ever handled a Ferrum Forge design knife, uh, with ergos that I, I didn't really like. So that's very, very nice. And then the action on this thing, the flipper, this flipper is perfect for push button action. Um, very, very nice, easy to kick out. And yeah, very, very enjoyable. Very smooth button lock action. This is, CGRB has a lot of nice button locks. And really, I mean, I just I just showed two of them earlier here with, with the Pyrite and the Echo that are phenomenal, come out earlier this year. Um, but they've really figured out the whole button lock design because all of the uh, budget button locks to come out of CGRB this year um, pretty much all of them have been really good, and three or four of them now have been fantastic. So um, they've kind of got that secret sauce going there. Maybe not secret sauce, but uh, they have found just the right ingredients in that sauce to make a very, very nice budget button lock knife. Um, super fidgety, super enjoyable, and yeah, just really good. Um, overall thoughts on this are very positive. Um, I personally... While I do like this, I have no reason to tell you not to go for it. Um, I would like to see a slightly bigger version of this, like a 3.25-inch blade. 
3.25 to like 3.35, something like that, for me would be perfect. That'd give me just a little more open free space in the choil and give me a little more of a handle and of course bigger blade. Uh, that for me would perfect this knife. But if you're someone that likes three inch blades and you like Fair and Forge, I mean, this is a no brainer. This is a go after it and get it because it is very, very enjoyable, very smooth. And uh, yeah, just very, very good in general. And now my question to you guys, to all of you, um, between these three right here, I'm, I'm curious, and this is strictly just me being overly curious, uh, which would you take of these three between the Pyrite and the Echo and the Space Cowboy? Which one would you go with so far this year? And just the budget models, too. If you had to just pick a budget model, would you go Echo? Would you go Space Cowboy? Would you go Pyrite? Let me know in the comments below, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this review. Uh, let me know what you think of the design of this CGRB Space Cowboy. I really hope you guys enjoyed this one. Hope you have a great rest of your day. And until the next one, I'm out.